I gotta be honest with you guys, full self-driving is getting really difficult to summarize. I've rewritten the script for this video several times now, and nothing seems quite right. We're no longer in the days where I could just drive around in my local neighborhood and give you immediate feedback on what's changed. I'm needing to venture out further and further from where I live, and I'm also needing more seat time than ever to form a real opinion on a particular version. And by the time I have something to really say, a new version comes out and the process starts all over. And there is a reason why it's getting harder to summarize these new versions. As you probably know, but I'll briefly explain, a few months ago, full self-driving went through a significant significant transformation and had what I consider its chat GPT moment. All previous versions before it were manually programmed by humans with specific instructions for tasks like object recognition, stopping at stop signs and red lights, how to stay in between the lane lines, etc, etc. But version 12 flipped that upside down and replaced over 300,000 lines of human written code with an AI model that learns by watching millions of curated clips of good driving behavior and then does its best to mimic that same behavior. It's a monkey see, monkey do approach, and in a way, it's very similar to the way ChatGPT works, but instead of the model outputting text, it's outputting steering, acceleration, and braking controls, essentially making it a kind of drive GPT. This change instantly made full self-driving feel and behave more human than it ever has before. Sometimes for better and sometimes for worse. You can see it pulling a sneaky little move here and passing this entire line of cars who were waiting in the suicide lane to turn left at this light. And even accelerates into a gap that it finds over a solid white line. I'm not even really sure if it understood the context of what it did, but older versions would have never. If you're interested in how the version 12 AI models have progressed over time, I do have pretty extensive reviews on each version. But I know you're here for the state of the art in full self-driving, so let's take a look at the latest AI model, which is version 12.4. 12.4 was supposed to be a 5 to 10x improvement in miles per intervention compared to 12.3, and as you'll know if you watched my first couple drives with it, the first version we got was changing lanes so much that I was actually intervening more than ever out of sheer embarrassment from traffic around. Like seriously, calling the lane changes on that particular version excessive would be an understatement. And it also wouldn't take the initiative in certain scenarios, which made it feel completely neutered compared to older versions. Like here, where we have a left turn at this next light coming up, and even when the car in front of us goes forward to give us more room, it still won't go past him because it's afraid of putting its tires on this double yellow line. Luckily, the latest versions seem to have fixed situations like this, and actually, that scenario in particular is going to look pretty hilarious when I show you what happens later. But just wanted to make it clear that the first version I got in 12.4, in my opinion, did not feel very confident in its actions. You can see it again getting stuck here, even though there's plenty of room to make a right turn here and go beside the cars. It's just not doing it. After using that version for a while, I actually took a trip to the East Coast and used my friend's Tesla that was still on version 12.3. And I got to be honest with you, I feel like I preferred it. Its ability to execute on things without feeling like it's thinking much about it, like going off-road to pass this silver Model 3, rest in peace by the way, is something that I had really missed from version 12.4. But when I got back home from the East Coast, the second version of 12.4 was waiting for me, and I gotta tell you, I was extremely impressed. It seems like in one single dot update, all the complaints I had, including the random lane changes, were basically completely fixed. I only got to use this version for a total of two days before the next version came out that replaced it, but they were the two most glorious days I've ever had with full self-driving. The acceleration and braking and overall decision making was just so much better, and it finally grew a pair again. Watch what it does when there's a car stop turning left in front of us here. Didn't even use a turn signal to pass, which isn't exactly ideal, but it was oh so smooth. It also started to show some signs of what I would consider real intelligence. Like, watch what it does when it realizes that traffic in front of us has a green light here. 
Although this wasn't handled exactly smoothly, I think it requires some actual thinking to yield for traffic in front of us, which wasn't even moving at the time and not following those other cars through the green light. And there were several times throughout this drive where I really felt the car was thinking through things. Like here, where you can see the car pull off to the right-hand side of the road because it thinks it's close enough to the navigation pen. And I was thinking at the time, man, if this was a robo-taxi, I'd probably be pretty upset if it dropped me off around the block here. And it seemed to realize it too, because without me doing anything, it turned on its turn signal and continued along the navigation route until it got to its destination. There were a lot of really incredible moments throughout this drive, and I do think it's probably one of the best drives I've ever had through this area, which I bring full self-driving to because it's such a challenge. And I didn't end up releasing this full drive because it got outdated by a new version, but if you're interested, it is available for channel members and on Patreon. Then the third version of 12.4 came out, being 12.4.3, and it was definitely a mixed bag. I had some real WTF kind of moments that I'll show you a little bit later, but first I'll start off with the good. 12.4 continues to really impress me in random situations, like here where we have a U-turn in our navigation route, but it sees a left turn that would get us to our destination faster and kind of goes, oh, don't mind if I do. This left turn is fairly new, but it's incredible to me that it's starting to abandon its navigation routes to get to the destination in the most efficient way possible. And here's another recently repainted intersection. You can see they turned the middle lane to be a left turn only lane, which confuses pretty much everybody that drives through here, thanks to our brilliant city planners. So many people end up just like the car in front of us, like frantically trying to get into the right lane because there's no indication, but full self-driving just takes the L and completes the left hand turn because it knows it's in a left hand turn only lane even though it's not mapped rerouting is usually the better option it's nice to see full self-driving doing it more consistently or here where you see a do not block intersection sign off to our left and i don't think full self-driving is reading by any means but it does understand the situation enough to not pull into the intersection and block cross traffic it also does this same type of thing at stoplights when the light is green but traffic is backed up enough to block ahead of us and honestly it's probably already better than the majority of humans at this but an even more incredible moment happens just a little bit later in that same drive through you can see as we're waiting in line it's doing a good job keeping close to the cars in front and everything and you can see a cashier off to the left who's taking orders for the cars and once he stands beside our car to take our order it stops following the car in front and actually waits until he's done with our order and walking away before continuing. This is one of those like 0 0.0001 last percent of scenarios that I thought FSD would be able to handle, but here we are. Unfortunately, it's some of the more regular scenarios that you'd think full self-driving has figured out by now that seem to trip it up. So this is where we start getting into the rough parts of 12.4. I had a couple of real head scratcher moments where the car did some really unpredictable behavior, like here where it gets in the complete completely wrong lane to make this left turn. You'd think the double yellow line would be a pretty good indication that it's on the wrong side of the road, but I guess not. And there were a couple of moments that looked a lot like aggression to me. You can see when this car pulls out in front of us, it starts to go into the neighboring lane without even using a turn signal like it was going to pass them. And here where it anticipates the flow of traffic a little too well, you can see the person in front of us is slow to follow traffic and it starts following them really closely behind before finally backing off when it gets up to speed. Human style aggression is not something I had on my FSD bingo card, but there may be a reason for it. Elon said that 12.4 suffers in smoothness because there was too much training on intervention data and not enough on normal driving. Like a doctor training too much on patients in the emergency room versus training on preventative care. So to me, it's no wonder it sometimes behaves like a pissed off taxi driver because it's loaded with data of the worst human driving there is. 
I think this is likely why 12.4 took so long to come out is because they were trying to patch it and not make it do some of these crazy maneuvers. There's random times where it feels like it's just completely ignoring all the lane lines and driving however it sees fit. You can see it looking for a way off to the pin to our left here. It felt like the first version I got of 12.4 was in a straight jacket and now it's just completely unleashed. And you're probably thinking, I thought you said that the second version of 12.4 was really good. How can all these just appear out of one dot update? And that is because I think version 12.4 in general lacks consistency. Take this example from 12.4.1. We're turning right here, but it completely misses the road. Seems super hesitant, doesn't really know what to do here, completely fails this intersection. Then just a little later in this same drive, same intersection, it handles it absolutely perfectly. No hesitation, does exactly what it's supposed to, no problem at all. And I think these inconsistencies are why we're seeing so much varied feedback from the people who have 12.4 right now because sometimes I have absolutely perfect drives where the car handles everything all on its own smoothly, confidently, and other times on the exact same roads, the car fails at some really basic scenarios that 12.3 used to handle very consistently. I think there are indeed scenarios that 12.4 does handle 5 to 10x better than 12.3, like obeying the lane laws in newly painted areas or going on an unmapped road. And I know that kind of seems funny to say when I showed examples of the car completely ignoring the lane lines, but it's true. And that's why it's been so difficult for me to summarize. The car is driving better than it ever has before a lot of the time. And sometimes 12.4 truly does feel like that 5 to 10x improvement that I thought it would be. And other times it just seems to get lost and do some really odd stuff. But the way it handles those last 0.1% of scenarios that I thought would be extremely difficult for full self-driving to ever figure it out gives me a lot of confidence that this is the right approach. Just like ChatGPT had a huge amount of hallucinations in the beginning and over time is becoming more and more stable, I think when full self-driving has more and more data, these situations will become more and more rare. And speaking of ChatGPT hallucinating, if you're at all curious why large language models hallucinate, which is a very interesting subject by the way, this video's sponsor makes it easy. Brilliant simplifies learning about complex subjects by providing thousands of bite-sized lessons on just about anything you might be curious about, including physics, math, data analysis, programming, AI, and much more. These lessons are all hands-on, meaning you actually play around with the ideas, which really helps you digest and retain the information compared to watching lecture videos. This method of learning has actually been proven to be about six times more effective than just watching videos, which is something I can definitely attest to, because I really need to be hands-on with something for it to really sink in. These lessons are all created by experts in their relative fields, from places like Microsoft, Google, MIT, Caltech, and more. And you can also customize them to fit your needs. You can get everything Brilliant has to offer free for 30 days and also get 20% off their annual premium subscription by using my special link down in the description. A big thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video and until next time, everybody.